So hello everyone. Today we are gonna talking about why US government yanked the BitGo's contract and gave it to Encourage. Also we're talking about what crypto analysts are saying about the Ethereum hard fork. Binance to win down Hong Kong derivatives trading in switch to proactive compliance stands and some other different important interesting topics. So watch it to the end and let's go. So a tale of crypto ravelry, multi-million dollar contracts are bureaucratic definitions of small businesses. So Bitco got disqualified on a technical. USMS spokeswoman Lindsay Donahu told Coindesk the firm was simply too big to win a small business contract, and so the Small Business Administration nixed the original deal. But what more important that than this news that we are going to talking about why it is important and how it can influence on the Bitcoin price and what we are can waiting for as a crypto holders so please drop a like button subscribe and share with friends because we interesting topic in here we do interesting topic in here so the turnabout is the latest development in a contract saga that stretched back to 2018 when the USMS first hinted it needed help storing criminal coins. A division of the United States Department of Justice is responsible for disposing of millions of dollars in crypto that its sister agencies have saved. So it says that BitGo was their first choice and it was pro tested by competitors, BitGo CEO Mike Bash told Coindesk. So 15 companies pitched to SMS beginning in June 2020, public records show. Some were excluded from consideration, the government says being too big for a small business contract is the most common reason, but BitGo and Anhorich both survived the call. BitGo signed the contract on April 21. Coindesk broke the news the next day, and BitGo trumpeted the victory the day after that. So, let's talk about Lork and Glory. So, the competitive world of federal contracting is a wash in cash, private sector suitors, and more than a hint of prestige. Especially in crypto, an industry with a robust criminal underworld, getting to boast of law enforcement partners that perhaps counteract the shadow is itself a prize. So it's pretty much interesting uh, because you know, with considering all this big and small news, by obviously I think this is pretty huge news uh, that. It influence on the Bitcoin price, it influence, it change the ecosystem, it may change the infrastructure of Bitcoin, and obviously it influence straightly to its future and our future as the crypto holders. So, losing the contract will likely make little difference, financially speaking, for BitGo, which two weeks after declaring pre-emptive victory in April, agreed to a $1.2 billion acquisition by financial Mike Nogras crypto conglomerate Galaxy Digital. So Galaxy is certainly a no small business and few in the crypto world would consider pre-buyout BitGo or Unhorage, which holds a bit license from New York State that allows it to conduct digital assets in business in the state to be mom and pop shops either. But the SBA sets the line for small businesses in the commodity contracts dealing industry at those with less than 
$6.5 million in annual revenue. So finally, if BitGo had appealed, then a draw of documents detailing its size, salaries and revenue could be made public. According to Shane McCall, a partner at the law firm Copriens McCall Potrov, which specializes in challenging SBA rulings. So we're busy with the business, said Deputy CEO. The last thing I need to do is continue this fight. So we'll be we will be keep you updated keep you updated and informed because it's really interesting such fight like that so let me know what you're thinking in the comment section let's discuss it also share with friends drop a like button thank you so much and let's move on so what crypto analysis are saying about the Ethereum hard fork. As you may know, these days uh, we're having the Ethereum hard fork in London. Basically, about one week ago, and I think it influenced to rising of Ethereum up to today's price. It's three thousand and one hundred dollars maybe two hundred dollars already and it's almost seventeen percent seventy percent rise from the week so what speaking ethereum speaking about ethereum hard work what actually worth mentioning. So the notion of Ethereum becoming a deflationary cryptocurrency in the future is now tangible, and the effects on Ethereum's valuation could be profound, says Martin Gaspar, analyst as Cross Tower. So also what actually interesting it short term this is another reason to be bullish, Laura said. And we can actually check out that it's really reason to be bullish because already 70% of rise and maybe it can, we can see much more rise, but we will be checking it. So, Ben Siner attributes a terse rise in price after the London upgrade to a combination of the theoretical bullishness that comes from the hard fork. So, lower transaction costs along with slightly reduced supply. I believe this is another supporting factor in the Ethereum red. However, in this case, it does not appear to be the dominant factor, he said. Well, obviously, I think it does make sense. So, increased scarcity of ether will bring longer term value to supply and demand factors. Yeah, it's also, um, from, in my opinion, does make sense. So, these occasions are typically well documented heading into the event given the transparent discussion on various forums and conferences, said Denis Vinokuru, head of research at Synergia Capital. Overall, the reaction is more or less I expected. It's very rarely that Ethereum benefits from any immediate upside following such network upgrades, although ABS trends tends to materialize over time. That's unlike, for example, the Federal Reserve meeting, where slight nuances with regards to language used might have a more pronounced impact on reaction by different asset classes, Vinokuro said. So, I think it's really interesting, and 
obviously we can see that AP 15, 1559 it's influence on the Ethereum price and it's one of the reasons obviously why we get the rising of Ethereum almost already 70% so let me know what you think in the comment section below please thank you so much and drop a like button and click on the video which you can see 